Welcome back to Ballydawn everybody with me Sheba. Uh, today we have lots of things going on and lots of things get missed. Maybe you might want to watch until the end to see exactly what happens but yeah. Stuff! So first of all, we're gonna we're gonna get all these animals cleaned up because they are mucky, and it all needs sorting. And then we'll check what they require because obviously we've skipped we've skipped the day. Well, not skipped the day, but we've. Um, gone forward in time eleven uh, so yeah um, sort the animals out clean them up Push that bale back into the trigger. So today, really, what I want to get on with is the ploughing of that that big field. But obviously, we've got the two tractors now, so we can we can get uh, Frank in to do something for us. I'm not sure what it would be. But last episode we sprayed the fields. The one that we had cultivated had manure on it, so that's got first first stage of fertilizer anyway. Could have been catastrophic, couldn't it? Pigs need straw. I'm looking at that. So we'll do that right now. We gave them all that corn that we had, whole trailer load for. So they're going to be fine for a minute on the food side of things. Drop that off there. I have to move those forks out of the way. So I'll just quickly get this done and then we'll work out. I'm going to have to rent a plow to do the plowing. And I'm not going to time lapse it. What I'll do is I'll go around, I'll do the Headland marking and then we'll jump cut it because it's going to be a really long long process because we're we're making a new field basically so we stick the straw in there and that should make them happy on that side of things I think we'll set Frank off with the drill. Probably with the Ford. That took that whole bale. Wow. It's still not completely full either. But yeah, we'll, we'll set Frank off with the drill. So we'll fill the drill up. Uh, do a headland. Don't need to chase B anymore. Um, I thought we were going to then, but we're not now. So we'll set Frank off with Ford. 
Come on, Seaber. Maneuver this into there, like so. And we're going to have a lovely forward residual. Drill should be in there, there it is. Drill on, and um, we'll, we'll set Frank off in that one, the, the old brake drill. And we'll, um, we'll put right back in that one. And then when we do the big build, I think we're going to put soybeans in. Just to be a little bit adventurous. So we've already got some seed in here already. I hope this track bed is going to be man enough for it. I don't see why it shouldn't be. So we'll carry on, we'll fill it up, because it's going to have to go and do the other fields and things as well. So we'll just fill it up off of this trailer. Jumping. And uh, we'll quickly do the head. So I've been thinking about the channel a little bit. I'm going to do some tutorial videos. Um, I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm going to do them on first. But they will be coming out very soon. I intend to make them as short as I possibly can. And covering just um, singular things. I've noticed a lot of other people who do tutorials. Kind of jam them into videos. And make a nice long video of tutorials on how to do loads of things. And that's not what I want to do. I want to do um, I want to do short ones so that you can come along and you can go right that's what I want to learn about and it's just it's just about that particular thing so if it's a five minute video it's just about that one thing ten minute video it's just about that one thing do you know what I mean uh, I don't want a video covering lots of different processes So that's my plan. We're going to be doing that. I'm going to be uh, stopping time lapse Tuesday because analytics is telling me that that it just isn't it just isn't successful. Um, and my my data says no, so I say no might upset a few people that are enjoying it but unfortunately we've just we've got to work with what we've got I think we'll be safe to miss those little corners back it up into there not sure how well he's gonna do this for me but we will see once we set him off I think it should be relatively fine it is an odd shape field but we can come back to him and just sort him out if he gets a bit confused
so yeah we get this all drilled and then once all the fields are drilled and they've got crop in them we will then go around and, and spray them all that probably we just probably just spray one on the time lapse and then jump cut the other ones because we don't need to see them all being done I don't think I don't know I think one should do it one time round I'm going to start him off yeah start him off here Hopefully it's going to be all right. But like I said, if not, then we'll just have to. Sort them out another way. We're obviously going to have to tidy up behind them as well and the bits that he misses. So we need to rent a plow, so we need to get down there. I'm gonna turn around properly. Looks like he is. Awesome. Right, we'll leave him to it then. So we want the John Deere. Whee! Here he is. Stick that. Where are we going to stick it? Back to where it was, I guess. But the other way around. Oh no, let's just stick it straight back. So I'll get rid of this trailer uh, and then we'll jump cut. To the dealers. At the lovely dealership, we are going to get ourselves a plow. Why am I coming round here? I have no idea. It's going to be over there, isn't it? It's because I'm so used to going around there to sell stuff, I suppose. Right. Let's get in there, see what they've got to offer. We'll see what I've got installed. I don't, don't think I've got anything installed. So... Plows, three hundred horsepower to pull that. We haven't got three hundred horsepower. We have Which is it to rent three grand? I'm doing it. We're down 500 horses, but I think I think he'll manage it. I think he'll manage it. I have I have confidence. I have confidence in my JD. So now we've got this. Let's get her on. 
Let's get it back to the farm. Have a quick sprint down here. I'm going to have to check out that pub and see if it's really there in real life. If it is, I'll get a picture and put it up. I'm sure it probably is because the Evo does a pretty good job of getting things getting things in that should be. Uh, worth having a look, I reckon. So anyway, I will jump cut to the field now. Right, we are in our field. We need to mark her out and then do our job. Oh, helper Frizz, Frank, has completed their task. Alright, well, not quite, but you've done an okay job. We'll just do this. Triangle. I'll just do this triangle and then I will go over and do the plowing. And then I'll come back and I'll finish off the field. That'll be fine. That bit. This bit. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we'll leave that bit for now. Because I really want to get this at least started. We don't want it down, we want it unfolded. That's it. So like I said, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the majority of this off screen. Why are you turning? Don't want to turn. This is naughty. And there we go. So this this is going to take ages because we are slow. But then we kind of knew we would because we're in, we're we're down on fifty horsepower. Although really, he ain't doing too bad a job, is he, old Larry? He ain't doing too bad a job at all. This is going to be purgatory, isn't it? <laughs> but it would be if you had to sit and watch it. For me, it's just going to be... Time well spent, I hope. Look at that. Found the JD. That's splendid. So I think, I think you kind of get the gist of what's going to be going on here. I think I'll, 
I'll get on with it. And then you can, as if by magic, you will see a cloud field. In three, two, one. So a right annoying thing happened. Really annoying. Um, so when, obviously when I finished doing the field, plowing the field and everything, I started recording again. Or I thought I started recording again. I'm not sure what happened. But anyway, so I've missed, I've missed out loads. Basically, basically what we've done is we've got 16 is now ploughed it's also fertilized because I put the John Deere in there and fertilized it I've got 14 which is finished with the canola 13 I've already got the sugar beet in and 11 I've already got the the rape in it because you know I was uh, I was getting things done multitasking the two tractors and everything and flitting between uh, anyway so we're gonna put the soybeans in here I'm gonna time-lapse it but I'll start it off it's just I'm just so annoyed so annoyed that I've missed all that but anyway So we're going to time lapse this, but uh, I'll go around, I'll do the headlands, and um, we'll have a bit of a chat as I'm doing it. It's just such a pain. I don't, I don't even know what happened because I'm, I'm so, since the very last time I did it, which was one, I think it was Drystone Hoff, where I completely missed an episode. Uh, and that, I just put that down to lack of experience because obviously that was my very first let's play. Uh, oh, just, just a pain. Just a pain. So anyway, we're putting soybeans in here. Uh, and like I said, we've already got the first fertilizer state gone in with the John Deere. We've also got the John Deere and the JCB in dire need of servicing now. They have been on it like you wouldn't believe. Oh, this is going to take some time, isn't it? No, I think it'll be fine. I'll go, I'll go sideways across it, it'll be easy. So, uh, yeah, uh, what was I talking about when I wasn't recording it? So yeah, uh, I want to do uh, tutorials. I think I mentioned that earlier. I think that's in a bit that I did record. I want to do tutorials. So if anybody has any particular things that they're interested in knowing about how to do, um, possibly not about recording videos because I'm still not professional with that yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, just send it, drop me a comment drop me a comment let me know what it is that you're interested in seeing in a tutorial possibly and then we'll see what we can sort out I think realistically probably the best thing to start off with um, which isn't going to help any console guys really um, but it is for the PC guys is uh, course play or something like that Maybe the, maybe the global mod and just give a an in-depth tutorial on how the things work how to use them and stuff like that um, so yeah if you if you've got anything that you do want to see let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to do a video about it for you um, also uh, today you will have possibly seen another video that I released same day as Ballydor which was for Dagawin for his birthday 
That's right, Daggerin's birthday is today. And I believe he is going to be 27, or is 27. So happy birthday to him again. Go and check out the video, it's a bit of fun. That's all it is, just a bit of fun. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, the Ford is filthy. She has done a lot of work <laughs> that you haven't seen. Uh, not to worry. I messaged the shaming man right after I'd done it. <laughs> I was like, dude, I, I've totally, I've totally messed up. No mind. What can you do, eh? Nothing. So, yeah, I think we'll jump into the time lapse bit now. And, uh, just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm grumpy. I'm a grumpy seabird. For anybody who'd like to know, I am grumpy. There we go. Time lapse. I was going, I was just trying to remember the bits and pieces that I was doing in my non-recorded bit. So obviously I, I've planted all the fields. Some of them, uh, this one's been fertilised obviously by the John Deere. The other ones, uh, so the sugar beet got fertilised during our application because that machine, the row machine, has fertilizer in it, so it fertilizes as well, and, and that's the only one. So we're going to have to give a second load of fertilizer to this field, and then to the two canola fields, rape fields, that we've got. We're not going to be getting involved in any more grass. So we haven't got to worry about fertilising that. I checked all the animals because obviously at the beginning of the video I did I did all the, the cleaning up and the, the straw for the pigs. But I checked the animals in it. But we'll we'll go around them again just so that you can see on video on film video where we're at with them. And there we go. That is done. We'll just trudge back. I think this gate open, get through. So that's done. So everything's got crop in it. 
ready to grow. Uh, and then the pigs, and then obviously the JCB John Deere. In the next episode, at the beginning, we will have to service them. So what I'll do for that is we'll, we'll get the sprayer onto the Ford and set him off in one of the fields to get some fertilizer going. Uh, and then we'll, we'll service the, the tractor, the John Deere and the JCP. Whilst it's doing that. So we'll run a full background to the, to the main yard section. I suppose really what we can do is we can start selling off equipment and things as well. Because uh, this is episode 20, we're going to be finishing 25. We're not going to need the baler, we're not going to need the tether or the crop or the wind rower. We do need the animal trailer, we do need the flatbed. Look for it there for now. So we'll turn him off. So we'll need the flatbed. Um, yeah, we'll need that. So the pigs, they've got straw, they've got food. We've got 25 pigs now. Cleanliness is good, water's good, straw. They could probably do with some more, but I think we'll be okay for now. Food is good. Productivity 99%, which is good. We've got slurry. Um, and we've got manure. So we can sell that. Uh, the chickens, so they're okay, I guess. For chickens 89% productivity they've got food uh, and cleanliness is down now so we will need to sort that out in the next episode sheep they're good for food 99% on the productivity and all of that is good so we have a look pigs are looking good we've got loads of them now so I think what we'll do is, now we're at 24, we'll let them push on, try and get them to 30, and then we'll just sell the lot. We'll get rid of them all. The sheep, obviously, they're not reproducting, but we do want the wool. So I'm gonna aim for four pallets full, and then we're done there. And the chickens, we've got an a crate that tiny little bit there makes them 0% on cleanliness so what have we got here doesn't say how much we've got in it hmm that's a shame I guess it must be a full box yeah, let's pop it there. Oh, it says now. Eighty. Eighty percent full. That'd be okay. I'll just spawn another one once they start laying some more. That'd be okay. So yeah, um sorry we missed some. But that's the way it uh, that's the way it goes in Valley Dawn we just crack on so there we go thanks for watching everybody stay safe especially with everything that's uh, kicking off again isn't it may the weather be with you